will start out, number one, Windows Phone 8 will support the latest and greatest hardware this fall. The shared core with its kernel, um, in particular, has been optimized for, over the course of many years, multi-core chips. In fact, the shared kernel that we'll be shipping in Windows Phone 8 has already been run on 64 core machines on Windows desktop PCs and servers. This is a great architecture that's been optimized over years, and the experience that people have had on Windows Phone single core devices in the past is gonna get much, much better as it runs on dual core devices and beyond in the future. The work that we've been doing so far in building Windows Phone 8 has been focused on dual core for this fall. And we are doing all the kinds of optimization and performance enhancements on multi-core first for Windows 8 devices so that consumers get the real benefit of battery life and great performance on their new Windows Phone 8 devices. The next thing we're doing in terms of hardware enhancements is scaling up our support for screen resolutions. When we launched Windows Phone 7, we picked one screen resolution. And we did that in large part to give the ecosystem focus on a single target. So it would be easier for ISVs to implement apps that would be known to work great on every Windows phone. We feel that now is the right time to expand that screen resolution, so we're moving up and adding two new resolutions, both in high definition. We'll be adding a standard 720p, screen resolution, and the even higher res WXGA, you can sort of think of that as 720p plus, with its 768 uh, lines of resolution when you're in landscape mode. We made a very intentional choice here and have made sure that we have the graphics hardware support so that all of the existing Windows Phone 7.5 apps will run great with no modification on these new resolutions. If you're a developer, your app is gonna run and look terrific, and I'm gonna show you some examples of this later. The resolution change is invisible to you. Now, of course, if you want to go exploit the new resolution, you're welcome to do that, and we make that possible, but it's not necessary. As an end user, all the things that you would expect to work still work, but your experience just gets better. Third, we're introducing removable micro SD support as a core part of the platform. And this core micro SD support spans both the PC and the phone. The scenarios are valuable both to consumers but also to developers and to hardware vendors. Um, what this enables that's different than what Windows Phone 7.5 has today is that an end user can add a micro SD card months after they buy the phone, expanding their storage, and then they can use it to transfer content from their PC to their phone, from phone to phone, can be used as a distribution vehicle for apps, and it supports all these things in a very natural, integrated way in the Metro experience. We didn't want to deliver this feature until we could do it in a way that would be easy to use, predictable, and high performant, and we think we've got that nailed in Windows Phone 8. Not only does this help consumers, but it helps our hardware vendors and mobile operators as well, because it lets them range and stock phones in stores that are lower cost at time of purchase, because they don't need to put as much storage in the phone to begin with. If a user needs it, they can always add it later. So these are three important things that are gonna help Windows Phone scale up and scale down on great new hardware this fall. 